Hey y'all, I'm coming to you from Creativation, and I know I gotta wait a minute. One Arizona, two Arizona. Screw Arizona. Hey y'all, I'm coming in from Creativation, and boy, do I have something to show you. It's freaking amazing. So we're at our affiliate um, Artist Breeze booth. And so this is Artist Breeze. They are the ones that do the fancy dancy sublimation markers, okay? And they're pretty bad. Oh, I forgot I'm on YouTube. They're pretty, oh, screw it. They're pretty badass. They're amazing. And so um, they're amazing in their own right. Well, I had the inside scoop that they had something amazing that I've got my little phalanges on right now that nobody in the history of crafting has seen yet because well they just made it and they're just showing it and we're gonna get to see it first so feast your eyes on this What's that you say? A white wine tumbler? What? Well, we're about to make it fancy dances, suckers. So, okay. So look, uh, Artist Brie has this huge collection of these sublimationable markers, okay? I don't know if that's a sublimationable, but it's sublim sublimatable. Sublimate, just, they're markers that you could sublimate with, okay? And they've got these all these new colors out too. So look up. All these markers they have. And they're the markers that you color with and you can iron on. And they had them out first before another company had them. That rhymes with spigot. But I'm just saying. I'm just throwing it out there. But whatever. Okay. So before spigot tried to copy it, Artist Brie had them first. Which they had them nicer, brighter, longer. But whatever. Nobody's bitter. <clears throat> So, anyway, you know, I say stuff that other people don't, but whatever. So, they have new colors out. I was a little fat in that, in that shot, so I had to fix that. So, they have new colors out now. And they have this little beauty right here, which is a sublimatable tumbler. So, we're about to sublimate our faces off. I feel like they're coloring up a storm and shaking with their mama gave you over there Sorry. so they're coloring their little stencils okay so now they have stencils so look i'm gonna flip you around okay so these are the create they're like super smart mega people so they have tumble they have tumblers they have stencils now that you can like stencil and they're making all their little colorings and they're coloring all kind of stuff and so these are like some of the people in the creators Hi, and super funsies. They're really smart people. I don't know why they associate with me, but whatever. Because you're okay. fun. I, it's because I'm fun. And because of... And because of what you do. And Be good to everybody. We love your slogan. And because of this hot face right here. Most so, made in America. Almost everything's made in yes, America. Yes, and almost everything is made in America. Hello. Just like... Never mind, I can't say that on YouTube either. But... We'll be doing a better one in our group later. All right. So then, after you have your design, which they've been feverishly coloring, okay? Now, let me tell you. Can I tell you something about poor Ashley? Y'all, Ashley is literally sweating in her little space boots. She's like, oh, if you see the videos, like, shaking, it's because she has got, like, the tremors. She's so nervous about it. She's like, are we really going to do this right now? I'm like, right now. I woke up like jumping at the bit. All right, so after you get this, we're gonna tape it all over this. With special heat tape. With special heat tape. Yeah, artist free that heat tape. That artist free sells. That we'll put the link in the comments below because there are our affiliates. So we're gonna beam, 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 beam. So we're doing that right now. Yeah. So, so come go. on. So let's go. We're doing it. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so here we go. We're doing it right now. Okay. All right. So. Before, before we start, 
just so we're using a we're gonna use a we're gonna heat use gun, a Wagner heat gun, right? Because Ashley is so resourceful and she has so many connections. She got us a Wagner heat gun all <laughs> 20 minutes ago. <laughs> so listen, so you have to use a 450 degree heat source, and they're like, we don't have one here, so we won't be able to do it here. I was like, I'll be right back. So I ran she my little one. fat self over to Wagner, <laughs> got a heat gun, and ran my little fat self back. So now we're using a Wagner heat gun. So usually this is done in a designated craft toaster oven at 375 for five minutes. But Ashley said, oh no, my people are waiting. We gotta be resourceful. We're gonna do this right now. So we're kind of experimenting on the fly, which is the best way to do things sometimes. So. Right, so basically we're gonna do it the Chauvin way. So this we're gonna heat gun, no, it's not hot. It's not hot, it's, not it's hot only yet. hot when you turn. Okay. They have no experience with a heat gun. I'm gonna heat gun it because they don't know how to heat gun it. The poor baby's like, so wait, how does it work? Does it is it like a is it like a jet engine? Does it like heat up? Like you can't blow dry your hair with it either. Okay. Don't get any kind of ideas because literally you'll burn your face off. Like she's gonna come to work tomorrow with like burn marks and be like, I thought it was so hot. Okay. So okay. I'm going so look to trim down my design and place it on my tumbler as desired. So while I'm doing that, if you want to show them all of our, I am. All of our stuff. Okay, so she's like cutting and pasting, cutting and pasting, which is boring. So I'm going to show you all the other stuff that they have, okay? So look, uh, they have all kinds of sublimatable stuff. They have stamps. They have So they have them backwards already for you because you have to backwards it and mirror it so that you don't look ridiculous when you stuff it. They have all kinds of sublimationable blanks. Sublimationable, that's not a word. Sublimatable, whatever. They have all kind of sublimation um, shirts. They have all the different new colors. That's amazing, okay? So this is all their new colors and stuff like that, okay? And they had it first before the Spicket Company, but whatever, okay? And then they have all kind of like keychains and picture frames, bookmarks. Look how cute these bookmarks are. Those are precious, okay? So, okay. look how cute. You can make these little quilts with your little, yeah. look how precious. Look at this. Some little grandma made this probably. <laughs> look how precious this is. Or it maybe it wasn't a grandma, maybe it was somebody young, but it looks grandma-ish. Thank you. Did you make it? I got the artwork. So oh my Michaela, God. Michaela did this part and this part. Okay, well, but the sewing looks grandma-ish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, Oh shit, maybe it was somebody again. <laughs> well, damn, this quilt just looks great. <laughs> I mean, this young, young looking quilt, man, this just, I'm gonna stop with the quilt because I feel like I'm really screwing myself up with the quilt. But this, doesn't this quilt look young looking? Just yes. say yes. Yes. Because I, I one of these was my hand. Oh look, see, I insulted it, and I was like, "Look at this little old lady quilt." And it's not made by an old lady, I don't think. So, but it looked. But done, yeah. Usually, it, usually. You I don't. I thought it was an old lady quilt. It's just to give an idea of what <laughs> of, you can do. Right. It's just to give you the old lady feeling. <laughs> imposters. Uh, old lady imposters. <laughs> <laughs> old lady yeah, imposters. So we're, we're about so we're about to do this. Look, this little old lady is standing in amazement. Look, she's like, what? Look, she's amazed. Look, that little old lady is not responsible for this quilt. Look, she did not. She did not make this quilt. And I would say, ma'am, did you make this quilt? But I don't want to insult her. But she did not make this quilt. Okay. Science has made this quilt. Okay. Science okay. made this quilt. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she's so nervous. Poor baby. Don't worry. There's just like hey, 300 YouTube. people okay. watching. So that gun goes up to 400. No, that gun goes up to 1100. Okay, so this is our tumbler wrap. So basically it's open on both ends. So you're okay. going to take the tumbler with your design, tape this so maybe I need one more piece for that piece on the fly. Make sure you get it on the bottom where it, so it you doesn't. Small pieces yeah. It really don't need has a heart on the bottom. I will say that uh, depending on the size of your project, you might need more or, or bigger pieces. But you so like we're taping pieces. it all, taping. Now look, let me tell you something. 
I made this poor little sweet baby angel do this literally on the fly because she wasn't ready. Sharkeisha, she wasn't ready, okay? So, she was, she's been forced, okay? And they didn't have a craft oven, so I just ran and got a heat gun. So this well, we're doing we're doing make and, and takes course, with keychains today, but Ashley was like, "Oh no, I'm Ashley. We got to do a tumbler." Right. <laughs> I, did, I I I She's basically special. I basically um, Nola Craft cultured them, but with their tumbler instead okay. of their glitter. So we're gonna put this over this and slide it on like so. So I'm not. So, so, I'm not going to tell you so what that looks like. So up until this point, the directions have been the same. The last part of applying the heat is where the experiment's going to begin today. So I'm not going to tell you what that looks like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so we removed the lid because it's plastic. So you want to remove the lid. Everything's ready to go. We t turn this on. No, I'm going to. You want me to do the heat gun bar? Yeah. So we should put it over okay. here at the silicone yeah. mat, right? All right, Mama, come here. Okay. So we're going to do the heat gun bar so that because they're afraid of the heat gun. And That's one with no vents, I see. Yes, you yeah. have to make sure it has no vents. Okay, so we're gonna right. do the heat gun part so that they're not like petrified. <laughs> because they're like, is it on? Is it hot? Yeah, Does it have to heat up? I'm like, no, you just turn it on and hot stuff comes out. But I don't want to like right. go. We do? Well, I didn't want to go around her like. Should I bring the mat over here? Yeah, bring the mat over here. Okay, so we're about to heat her up. All right, so here we go. So this is our right. this is our silicone mat. Um, it's a project mat. It's a hundred percent virgin silicone. So it caps, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, it the wall, so it captures the dye, so it doesn't get re-released. So this is something that we use for projects all the time, and I'm sure it'll be great for our experiment today. All right, so. here. Hold that, Mama. Oh, I know. No. I'm going to move that so I don't blow it all to smithereens. So normally, this would go in a craft toaster oven at 375 for five minutes, but Ashley is Insistent. cooking on the fly here today. But I'm really, you know, really um, interested to see how it goes because because this gun goes to four, over 400 degrees. No, it goes to 1100 degrees. Oh my god! It goes to 1100 degrees. Well, well, I don't know careful. why y'all are like stuck yeah. at 400 degrees. Well, because 400 degrees is the temperature that's technically needed for sublimation. Like, do you see the heat coming out? <laughs> All right, don't touch that with you there. Don't touch it. Okay, we gotta wait for it to cool down. Well, duh. Right? I'm not touching it. <laughs> don't touch it. <laughs> I just like literally burned through the plastic. Looking. What you looking at? The fact that you're about to burn your flesh off your skin? <laughs> Man, yeah. <laughs> don't do you have one of these things? I don't, unfortunately. Oh my god, we're like one handy wonder. <laughs> oh my god. Well, the fact that we're about to burn. So don't touch. <laughs> oh, no, no, sweet baby Jesus. Oh. Here, ma'am, would you like to hold? I'm kidding. I don't know. <laughs> so, once your item has cooled, right, because we're not, oh, thank you. Thank you. Once your item has cooled, because we're usually not doing this on a YouTube Live, then you, it's safe to peel off the, the tumbler wrap and your design. So, we're just, again, doing this on the fly, not really sure what the outcome's gonna be. But if you follow the directions, it turns out, like this. So as you can see, because it's that funny shape, we were able to get all the way on the corners. Um, because then that way, usually if you have a mug press or like a, you use that for like water bottles or mugs, it's a perfect cylinder. Whereas this has that egg shape. 
So that's why the Tumblr app is a really cool tool that allows um, odd shapes like this to be sublimated. So that's what it looks like when you use a craft toaster oven and a heat gun simply to apply the pressure and then let the craft up toaster oven do the real heating. So anyway, just so you know, that's what this is. Did you burn <laughs> no, lady, it worked. <laughs> Did it work? Yes, it worked. Like, well, hurry up so we can all see it, not just you. <laughs> well, lady, you want to hold this flaming hot thing in your hand? I'm not giving you the glove. You ain't stealing the thunder. We're all like so excited. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. oh wow! And that was only for like. That was only for like. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. And not doing it right, like we didn't really do it right. Oh wow, that did work. Mm. I think it's gonna have longer time. Yeah, more we time. Have, so we did the it thing about but it is, for only like twenty seconds. Look at that. Right, and I didn't do it evenly. So here's what here's what you got to think about is this. It absolutely works, and it was it's absolutely something that's amazing. Two things, we didn't measure like where was the even part. Right. So if we would have started and said, okay, well, this is where we started and evenly heat gunned it, it absolutely would have gotten even coverage. The thing that I got nervous about was I was burning through the plastic, so I didn't know if I was going to damage the tumbler or damage the thing. If you put it in a craft oven, like you said, it absolutely would have come out perfectly. So, but it absolutely worked. Isn't that this so, is so cool? badass. We'll have to play around more <laughs> oh my with this. God. We'll have to play it more around with this. Right, like this is more like a... <laughs> An experimental, like this, just I wanted to see if it yes, actually yes. did what you said it was gonna do. <laughs> like that. Oh, yes. this is they so, start saying oh. they didn't believe me. They, yeah. No, I believe no, her. She, it's just like I was, I was, you know, I'm sure. With the, with, the, oh, with, the heat, with, with the heat gun being the heat source as opposed to the toaster oven yeah. or a heat yeah. press. And it absolutely works. And the whole thing about it is, is that if the thing comes with four wraps, you could just go back over it with another set of, because that's a great thing. You could just use another sheet of paper, mm -hmm. go back over it with other hearts, cover yeah, some could. more hearts, yeah, and then heat wrap it again, mm -hmm. and then not be a big deal because it's a sublimated this is freaking awesome. Oh my God, it's like Christmas. Yes. Can you unwrap it? It's like Christmas unwrapping. You may know, I guess not. I can't unwrap my present. This is so fun. It absolutely picked up the dial. Yeah. And it would have worked perfectly had we just evenly done like evenly done the heat on the the, uh, the heat but it absolutely man how vibrant so what i mapped out was this yeah this is where i burned through right. the the tumbler through the tumbler wrap, wrap. Mm -hmm. had it had that heat source yeah. the whole way through it would have been perfect right man this is good <laughs> i'm keeping it you can have it <laughs> not you <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this your little old lady quill? No, she's I think she's loud. Does anybody have any questions? Oh, no, that's fancy, fancy. I see some questions. Fancy, fancy. Any questions? You did a great thing. So if you have some questions, this is what you can do. Message us on Facebook, message me on Facebook, or put your questions or comments below and we'll answer them as they come up. It absolutely worked and it is definitely going to change the game in tumbler making as far as sublimation in tumbler making and as far as sublimation period. Yes. It definitely works. We just had to have the heat source right and I was just impatient as fuck. Fudge muffins. <laughs> Fudge muffins. And I wanted to see if it worked and it did. So y'all have a good day. Be good to everybody. And we'll see you at the next booth. Thank Bye, y'all. <laughs> Thanks, Ashley. What's that? The hook.